Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you my evening routine. I normally finish my admin work around five o'clock and then I will go ahead and get ready for my walk. I feel like this is just such a nice way to finish off the day and blow away all of those cobwebs and just get some nice fresh air as well. This is my outfit of the day. I'll link it down below as always. Normally we'll just walk somewhere local, but today I really fancied going to Richmond Park because it's just one of my favorite places to go. It's just so beautiful, so open, and there's lots of different routes you can do, so it never really gets boring. By the time I get home, I'm always really hungry. So either B or myself will cook dinner. Today it was my turn and I'm cooking a Thai green curry. Here are all of the ingredients that you will need. I'll go through them one by one though. So I start off by putting some coconut oil into the wok and adding the tofu and garlic and just frying this for a bit. And then I'll add the Thai green curry paste and mix it all around. Then you add one can of coconut milk and I've just put my veggies into the microwave because it makes them nice and tender quite quickly and then I'll add this to the mixture as well. Today I've used broccoli, green beans and spinach and then I just add some flavour using soy sauce and half a lime. Okay, don't judge me but I like to use the packet rice just because it's so much easier and cooking rice just isn't my forte. <laughs> Adding the other half of the lime to the rice is key. This makes it taste amazing and it just gives it so much more flavor. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, we rarely eat dinner on the dining table. We'll usually either have it on the balcony if it's a nice day or just in front of the TV, but um, we couldn't get the TV to work, so dining table it was. We usually sit and chat for a bit after dinner and then clean the kitchen together. I will then go and jump into the shower. I normally have a really quick freshen up in the evenings, nothing too long. Here I'm just tying up my hair using my slip silk scrunchie and in the evenings I like to use this Aromatherapy Associates body wash because it is so calming and relaxing. I always take off my makeup in the shower using a microfiber cloth. This is just so great for getting rid of all traces of makeup so you can begin your skincare routine afterwards. Once I'm out the shower, I'll get into some clean, comfy clothes. These are my new cozy socks and then the pyjamas are from Primark. I will then start my evening skincare routine. I start off by using the DHC deep cleansing oil and just really massage this into the face for around 30 to 40 seconds. And it just feels amazing on the skin. Then I'll just remove everything with a damp muslin cloth. I will then go ahead and spritz my Elemis toner all over my face. Next up is a new product that I've been using and absolutely loving. It's the Murad Vitamin C Serum. It does tingle a little bit when you first put it onto your face, but I really do feel like it gives you an amazing glow. I've also been using their under eye cream and I've definitely noticed a difference with the darkness under my eyes, so I would really recommend it. I will then use my Elemis Recovery Night Cream Oil. I really love this stuff and it smells lovely too. And finally, I will go in with my Pixi Collagen Lip Gloss. At this point, it is around seven o'clock and I will begin editing my Instagram photo for the evening. I did a little how I edit my photos in my last vlog, but if you'd like me to do an in-depth one, then do let me know. I always have to double check with B to see if I've edited the photo okay, because you know when you look at a photo too long and you just can't tell if you've done a dodgy edit or if it's over edited. So yeah, B is always my proof checker. I then sat and chilled with B for a bit. I'm not really sure what we were doing here, but I think I was uploading my photo, probably asking her to think of a caption for me because that's another one of her many uses. <laughs> I will then go and find all of the links to the clothes I was wearing in the Instagram post and pop them on my stories. This always takes surprisingly long. I will then spend some time engaging on Instagram, liking photos, commenting on them, liking your comments and deleting annoying spammy comments. <laughs> 
We love lighting candles in the evening. They just really set the tone and give off such a relaxing vibe. We will then pick something to watch on TV for the evening. At the moment, I am obsessed with Desperate Housewives. I just absolutely love it. And here I'm eating a goo cheesecake. <laughs> I definitely like to snack in the evening. So tonight I've gone for kettle chips and hummus with magic stars. As you can see, we don't actually do a lot of watching the TV. We just kind of have it in the background and listen to it whilst we chat and go on our phones because I'm normally most active on socials around this time. Next thing I do sounds a bit weird, but I'll always set myself a timer, usually around 10 to 20 minutes. And I'll use this time to tidy up the flat, get rid of any clutter, just so the next day everything starts fresh and nice. And I just find the whole timer thing really motivates me. Often you're actually left with a bit of time at the end, so you can normally do those jobs that you've been avoiding doing. So now it is around 10.30 and I will go into my bedroom, make it all cozy, get rid of the pillows that are on my bed and spray it with my aromatherapy sleep mist. This just smells so lovely and it really puts me in that sleepy mood. Here I'm just brushing my teeth and then I'll go and put my Jizu hair oil in overnight. Normally I put my hair rollers in but I knew I was washing my hair the next day so I just put it in a plait. This just helps with avoiding breakage overnight. I like to take my vitamins and supplements in the evening. So I take biotin for hair growth, coconut collagen, and then of course my sertraline. I will then write a detailed to-do list and a bit of a plan for the next day. This is such a key part of my evening routine because it really sets me up for success with the next day and I'm always so much more productive and motivated when I have my to-do list ready to do in the morning. I will then write my gratitude list and again this is something I do every single day. I think it's such a great mood booster because it really makes you appreciate the things that you have in your life rather than dwelling on the things that you don't. I'll then scroll on my phone for a bit before putting it down for the evening. This is usually when I'll FaceTime my parents and probably spend way too long on TikTok as well. It's just so addictive. And finally, I'll do a bit of light reading before going to sleep. These three books here are just so lovely as a bedtime read because they're really mindful and positive. And I just think that if you go to bed on a positive note, you'll probably wake up on one as well. I used to go to bed reading one of my motivational books, but I have learned not to do this because they get me far too excited and they really get my thoughts going. So I like to try and read something a bit more calm and light. Anyway, guys, that is my evening routine. Obviously, I don't always stick to it and it really does depend on what I'm doing that evening, how I'm feeling, but generally, this is what I'll be doing. I really hope you guys enjoyed my evening routine. I love you all so, so, so much and I will see you in my next video.